All right, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, we are back again, and uh, as promised, uh, guys, uh, today we are talking about a very important topic, and we have a very, very important personnel uh, with us today also. Uh, just when I said earlier that the the effect overall, which currently are prevailing right now, of uh, coronavirus or COVID-19, are spreading wide and fast. Both zada hai, lekin we the very important aspect to understand is, of course. Uh, the current uh, global uh, economic crisis which are going around and a very important topic for DS Global is that currently this time economical effects on energy markets kya hai? this is what we will be talking today and uh, when we were discussing about this topic or we were trying to analyze what could be the right scenario of understanding there are uh, Pakistani markets and of course there are international markets as well and uh, we need to understand both markets to be precisely uh, analyzing that what could be the right scenarios right working so we thought that uh, we should bring on some expert and aaj ka jo hamara session hoga we will try to make it very interactive and we will try to make sure that it it goes uh, both ways so very lucky today to have with us right from us dc hamare uh, saath Rida Rizvi Majuda and Rida is an energy analyst at the World Bank Group and uh, she is an inspiration for a lot of youth of Pakistan. She's an electrical engineer and a graduate from Yale, University of Yale and uh, needs no introduction, has an immense experience on working on global energy markets. So we thought to welcome Rida today and ask her about her journey and try and understand international, global and international markets not only talk about the technical stuff but also look at rida as a great inspiration for pakistani youth and the changes that she is bringing in so assalamu alaikum rida and welcome assalamu alaikum sir how are you <laughs> i'm absolutely fine and uh, good to see you first of all acha before we go on the further thanks mujhe ye bataiye ki ramzan mubarak to you and how is lockdown coming along aap kahan hain इंटीग्रेशन so we, right now so i'm since i am an analyst my my work is more related to economic financial analysis and grid side study not very electrical side but more towards economic side so that's what i'm working on and the focus countries right now are um, countries in sub saharan africa and pakistan as well so that's wonderful acha uh, later so, uh, before i go further to our technical towards the topic how has covid uh, 19 lockdown affected dc where you are right now uh, overall how is us right now kaisi situation hai america mein aur aapko kya kya problem face karni padi people in pakistan must be worried about you so how how are things right now are super worried uh, uh america mein, i don't watch news because i know it's absolutely horrible like it seems like everybody is dying in the us but currently in dc um, we have been asked to work from home from the president for past uh, two months almost two months so we are not going out people just go out for exercise or for walk um other than that i think things are pretty stagnant uh, over here i'm not going out except for probably grocery shopping or for a run so so it's been last ek mahine mein last one month how much how many times have you been out on the road i i actually go once at least twice a week uh, just to mujhe bahut daat padti hai maa baba se lekin i still go out because it gets really depressing so but i need some fresh air and then i just go out so right that's that's wonderful acha for a lot of people who are uh, watching us uh, right now reda is a great inspiration uh, 
she comes from a background from lahore and uh, ek uh, ek khwab dekhne wali ladki started from lahore then she ended up in us and what in us is now working in the world bank there could be no better inspiration stories than you rida mujhe ye bataiye ke aapke safar ka aagaaz kaise hua tell me a bit of background from where you started uh, mm-hmm. i understand you did your engineering and environment uh mm-hmm. from nas uh thoda sa mujhe bataye schooling college university people would love to know that where yeah. have you been studying and how does how does this journey come come along sir uh, for me actually i would say my parents have been the biggest inspiration like they have not stopped me from doing anything like my mother my father they have like literally groomed us in a way ke kuch aur important nahi hai padhai ke alawa so my i actually went to convent of jesus in may i did my olives from there then i went to lgs since then i have been on scholarship so i literally have not been a burden on my parents since olives um and uh, then i went to nas i got i i actually didn't want to apply to any place in the in pakistan mujhe main sirf ek jagah pe apply kiya tha jo ki nas tha and i didn't even prepare for it so eventually like i found out that i got in, got into nas mechanical engineering mein actually in pnec but i chose my parents and like we all decided that it's probably not a very you know a field that i should be working on and then i sh- shifted to environment aur us zamane mein like environment is still a thing like in pakistan in a country like pakistan people think environment is not a thing aur us zamane mein my chachu actually forecasted he was like it's going to be very important it's happening in australia and he was like you should definitely pursue environment mm. um it was not very easy because in aapko pata hai pakistan ki market ka it was very hard to actually get a job in pakistan um so i, I was actually inspired in my last two years in nas by a professor because we started working a lot on waste to energy systems so i was working mm. on biomass and then my one of my research pro- projects was selenity gradient solar pond so that was the point i decided like it has to be something related to clean energy because it is directly impacted by the environment and that's how i did my masters of my bachelor's from nas and then um then i applied for full right uh, and then i came to you you were my biggest mentor my biggest inspiration you actually gave me a chance when i knew literally nothing and you like i remember like you had faith in me um aur mujhe yaad hai aapki wo quotation jo aap hame hum sab ko subah subah karate the office start hone se pehle ke um to get successful you need to understand that you know nothing and that's from where you have to start off and that has been something very important in my life to know that i not knowing everything is very important and even right now i feel ki jitna zyada aap educate hote jaate you realize you don't know anything so that yeah. feeling is actually brought a lot of strive in me to keep working hard to keep learning from people regardless of who they are from or whether they are whether they are junior or they are senior so that was one thing and then obviously then i apply, i worked with premier energy you were my country head we worked on a lot of various projects on renewable energy on ecap our energy efficiency program so you guided me through everything and then during that period for one during one and a half year i was applying to a lot of places for masters um, abroad and then eventually i applied for fulbright and surprisingly i got i was called for interview when then the journey started all right full bright is fine rida thoda sa jo hai na wo aap us usse kaam le rahe ho a full bright is fine but making uh, into yale how big was it for you well how i i can remember the time you got it because yes i, I was trying I, I, i was there and i saw it how big it is people logon ko nahi pata yale ka uh, mm-hmm. for, uh, for for all the people who are watching uh, right now uh what is the what is the rate of getting into um, a year please share kijiyega so basically sir um america mein char panch universities hain who have acceptance rate like uh, harvard or yale ka 6% uh, um princeton ka it's like 6.3% and then rest of the uh um universities and especially like in in universities like yale which uh, which is an ivy league they don't have actually enroll a lot of international students so the percentage was, was around 0.1% so um, i don't know how i got this lucky but um 
there aren't a lot of international students but my program actually ended up having a lot of international students like there were 50 people from different countries but overall 100 jo the wo sab america se the so right so uh, making it to yale now main thoda sa is pe padhna chahunga so you graduated uh, we are coming towards the topic as well you graduated from um, national university of science and technology islamabad environment was a passion you worked in a renewable energy company you gain experience then you went to fulbright in fulbright you gave your best attempt and you ended up in yale uh, now that's a dream journey ye to bada sunne ko hai for listening it looks to be very good but just tell, uh, tell me a brief about it how tough was it how tough was the whole process of fulbright and everything it was for me it was very tough because um I started like um kyunki main job kari thi so it was 9 to 5 job and then I we, I had to prepare for GRE GRE is very tough because it's a momentum based test so you have to like literally sit for 3 to 4 hours straight and prepare for the exams um so I remember my routine was ki main subah 4 baje uthti thi main 3 ghante ka test daily karti thi aur phir office aati thi aur phir uske baad wapas ja ke phir se I had to and it was like constantly applying for like this started happening like and obviously and i had a spreadsheet in which i had made a list of all the universities along with their deadlines so it actually helped me a lot because i knew okay every day i had a task to complete and i started applying to each of the universities and then wo lors recommendation letters wo karna aur aap log aap log ko pata hai aap se li aap ko sari statement of purpose banana lor or uh, um motivational letter so it was quite a lot of work and i think i don't remember like now i'm extremely at ease it wasn't easy back then like i think i had been working like for 19 to 20 hours a day there were times like that that's that's a wonderful and 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 a, and a great journey and hey you are you done from yale how was the experience uh, how many pakistani were there by the way when you were at yale uh, sir mere school mein us time nahi tha lekin meri ek friend hai jo uska abhi pichle batch pe admission hua um there weren't a lot of pakistanis uh, mere school mein nahi the i was the only one mere batch mein uh, hmm. then so basically there was at least one person from each country to be honest um and That's i mean, was one so, from- uh, So representing Pakistan at Yale, um, I I I am I'm pretty sure that you your parents must be really proud of you. I hope so. Yeah, I think they're always praising. <laughs> they they get <laughs> a very high pedestal. So yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah, that's that's wonderful. For for everyone who has joined in, uh, Rida, we have next session. Rakesh, we'll be talking about international markets. Uh, you guys can drop in questions, and uh, we will uh, take in questions uh, whenever possible. Uh, so just drop in. You, if you're if you're logged in from DS Global or Evolve, just drop in a question in the comment section. And uh, for those who want to share any of the ideas or any thoughts or any questions with Rida about international markets, we'll be we'll be talking about that as well uh, right now later. Right, Rida. a uh, wonderful journey you have been uh, you're a great ambassador of the pakistani youth uh, where you are right now ke jisme um, for all the people who are watching right now especially the youngsters here is an example hum log pakistan mein bahut se baat karte hain we talk about lack of opportunities lack of uh, lack of the right direction or right path so here is an example of a girl who comes from lahore uh, and has independently made it uh, to dc and now she is working in the world bank Uh, studying at one of the best universities of the world the great example now rida covid 19 lockdown uh, how has that affected us uh, affected you affected overall the world mm-hmm. first of all my first question is how it has affected before we go into the graphics how it has affected the us economy overall what are people talking about sir like uh, a lot of people have been out of job to be honest like uh, koi uh, the moment um, government announced that they're going to give stimulus checks um, a lot of people went to irs irs and they registered as unemployed so that's something that has really uh, impacted uh, um that has really impacted the us economy hamari yahan pe jo local jitne restaurants ho gaye they are not working um um uber hamari nahi chal rahi so like you know those people who were daily wagers they are the ones who are extremely affected right now and and, and i think the situation is much better in dc situation 
सर आई आई पर्सनली फील कि हम अभी मैं लाइक like, इतनी शेल्ड अप इस वक्त सिचुएशन में बबल अप में हूँ कि आई प्रोली वुडेंट बी एबल टू कॉमेंट कि क्या सिचुएशन है बट द होमलेसनेस इज इंक्रीजिंग फॉर श्योर पीपल आर लाइक बींग इफेक्टेड एक्सट्रीमली बाई दिस लाइक ऑल डेली बिजनेस है हॉल्ट ओवर है so yeah all right that's that's uh, that's something which is definitely uh what right rita will be coming uh, uh to some of the notes that uh, have been prepared uh, from your side also yeah. if we can have that on so that uh, we will be showing people about the different uh, topics and different questions um now you understand or you bring on uh, your main portfolio or main working has been about the global uh, energy markets and everything mm-hmm. uh explain me a bit um you understand uh or you you work at the world bank you're looking at international energy markets right now uh before uh, before this covid 19 came across how were the things uh, you can you can bring on the data that we have on the screen to show so that we can uh, relate that uh, also uh impact of covid 19 on international energy markets now run through a bit to us uh, tell us a bit about it yes, how do you see what are the effects right now which have come across uh, yes, and uh, how do you see uh, the things going to be like so over to you uh, right now for global yes. economic effects of covid 19 especially in energy markets definitely so right now um uh, what you can see right now is actually data from bnef and there are a couple of projections from imf as well so they have actually run um scenarios scenario 1 ye hai ke agar to covid ek single wave wave pandemic hai to we are saying and if the countries are actually deploying 3 months severe lockdown um there is a possibility that the countries can actually return back to uh, their return uh, to their growth by end of th- year 2020 second scenario mm-hmm. and second uh, and third scenario are basically ke future pr- forecasting project- uh, projections and um if if okay. we uh, encounter multi wave pandemic we are expecting ke global growth jo hai wapas aayegi uh, second quarter of 2021 which is next year or agar if it's like it's still going on going we are uh, we are predicting that it might go up until n- end of next year to actually for the for the entire country or for the entire world to go back to its economic growth um uh, on the right side you can see actually the table that what imf is actually predicting based on mm-hmm. their projections overall world ki economy jo hai minus 3% hogi aur ye abhi base forecast hai aur Uh, जो बड़ी इकोनॉमीज हैं इमरजिंग इकोनॉमीज उनकी माइनस सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट है चाइना वन पॉइंट टू है इट इट इज एक्चुअली वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टू से दैट द फर्स्ट टाइम सिंस लाइक फाइव टू सिक्स इयर्स द चाइना विल हैव लिटरली हैव द लोएस्ट जीडीपी ग्रोथ अप अपिल नाउ विच विल बी लाइक अराउंड थ्री पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट एंड यस एक्टली बट द थिंग इज बिकॉज चाइना इज अ ग्लोबल मार्केट एंड इट्स एक्चुअली वन ऑफ द मेजर producers and suppliers obviously uska impact jo uski baki market mein jab supply the demand nahi hogi to supplies nahi and that's why you think the chinese uh, market is going to shrink is going to replenish badly um and if if this pandemic is like agar pura saal tak jata hai to we can actually predict that in all of these 2020 projections it, there might be a reduction by 3% and if it goes still mm-hmm. next year it's going to by 2021 there is going to be additional 8% um economic losses so that's something and we can say it actually might be one of the few steps towards great depression so for that like just to quickly see um this is one scenario jisme humne jo shocks hain we gave the pandemic shocks more towards a uh, south and countries like jo emerging markets mein and this is what it happens like uh, this is how the overall situation looks like but if we see if we look at the entire world and we are doing the projection the we, we are giving the shocks to all the countries uh, it actually reduces back uh, reduces drastically like literally G- germany is reducing from 2.8 to 3.6% us is reducing from 1.3 to 2.4% and etc so and then so, right so, 
should I for tell so, a bit about Pakistan or? Okay. All right, uh, Brida. Uh, now that's a global perspective. How much the shrink in economy economies would be, and uh, it it shows. So before I go on to the next question, I want to ask the interaction you to uh, to explain us people. Does this shrink in economy means less jobs? People uh, removed from the jobs. So basically what happens is if we look at GDP percentage, GDP is basically that your overall ek, um, country mein kitni, um, goods and services hain. and it is regardless of whether it's owned by some international investor or it's by owned by a Pakistani or by a national. So what is overall happening is that the total number of goods since the demand is reducing, the overall number of goods and the services are also reducing. And because of that, the GDP growth is actually reducing which is basically kind of like the main indicator and that is re related to global um, uh, economic index like sorry um, income in gni global mm. national income so that it yeah, will eventually impact the uh, employment rate as well all right and uh, before we jump on energy discussions i want to know uh which jobs you think uh or people in world bank or people in dc are thinking this area is be the first one will be badly hit because that i i want to know what the people yes. in the uh, u.s think so that the impact is going to be in pakistan so which areas you think are going to be really hit hard sir uh, uh, like uh, honestly uh it has actually started right now like jitne local businesses and for instance restaurants and um 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 but again, like I said, uh, Uber drivers or daily wages and construction. Hai. If initially, you were thinking construction jaldi jaldi kare te, because they saw, saw like there's no traffic, we can actually accelerate the uh, 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 the construction thing. But now it's like reducing. So these are the people that we are seeing that lower tier. Mein hai. They are going to be immensely mm -hmm. affected by it. And then eventually it's going to go up like Pirske Bad white collar jobs and may like private companies and who um, like who are not getting enough revenue and because of that they have to do some layoffs. Um so they will have to tier rajagi just my white collar jobs and who will have to like people are at a very low level who might have to leave their jobs uh, or who might be terminated. And then it yeah, because we, we, we have to understand, uh, I'm pretty sure the next slide is about Pakistani market also. <laughs> Uh, it is it is to understand for everyone that yes uh, for right now maybe we make understanding phase ke andar hai. every organization is every area is every society is but yeah the real impacts are gonna come shortly i think if not already pakistan ki baat kare, Rida, what are the figures for pakistan so this is something like i quickly grabbed um uh, pakistan may state bank uh, the, uh, state bank the projection ki ki 3.5 percent okay but according to state bank after covid it's going to reduce down to three percent adp is projecting mm -hmm. around 2.9 uh, it was projecting initially 2.9 percent without covid and now it's going to go to 2.6 percent or the world mm -hmm. bank had actually big since like it's considering imf ki sari restrictions and stuff world bank is projecting k 1.1 percent reduction on ki pakistan ki um and uh, if we like overall agar hum isko pura account for kare to pakistan will actually need 15 billion dollars uh to over overcome like that's like the overall loss and when we are talking about overall loss um is me hum uh, shadow pricing bhi le rahe hum isme economic impacts ke alawa environmental impacts social impacts bhi le rahe hain so uh, like we are also considering um health um as one of the main factors lifetime of people as one of the main factors to come up with this figure of 15 billion dollar um but i know like the no, government no, is actually the government has probably yeah. actually started with um with some uh, stimulus checks may has the government has start kiya and i was looking at the figures um that pakistan is overall aiming for 6.7 billion uh to be actually given out to compensate for yeah, but the only only positives a uh, few of the positive news yeah. we have a comment from rashid khalid as well may isko show karunga rashid sab in the latest thing and we'll have a discussion He's very optimistic. Uh, he's saying that things might be coming back. But the only positive is that Pakistan has loan repay for one year. So that's yes. a positive sign. That's a positive uh, a positive sign. Uh, oil prices coming down uh, is a really positive sign. But unfortunately, uh, I was listening to Asadumar. I had an interaction with him lately as well. Yeah. 
दैट अनफॉर्चुनेटली पाकिस्तान में ऑयल को सेव रिजर्वायर करने की कोई बहुत ज्यादा फैसिलिटीज नहीं है ओनली प्रॉपर्ली ओनली पॉसिबिलिटी राइट नाउ इज हेजिंग या फ्यूचर बाइंग के कॉन्सेप्ट पे चले जाए बट दैट्स अ सिचुएशन सो दैट्स द दैट्स फ्यू ऑफ द साइड्स व्हिच माइट बी अ गुड स्टोरी All right. So we want to know what is the impact it's going to have on overall energy market. So yeah. Rida, uh, please yeah. tell us a bit more about it. So um, I want to know about the electricity market's impact. Thank you, sir. Um, so overall, what we are actually seeing is. तीन चीजें हो रही हैं बिकॉज ऑफ कोविड सबसे पहले तो वी नो के आपकी कंजम्पशन रिडक्शन हो रही है लाइक पीपल आर अभी इफ यू कैन सी फ्रॉम द ग्राफ इट्स एक्चुअली अगेन फ्रॉम बी एन एफ एंड यू कैन सी के कंट्रीज आर एक्चुअली रिड्यूसिंग डाउन टिल माइनस फोर्टीन परसेंट विच मीन्स के आपकी इलेक्ट्रिसिटी प्राइसिस जो है आपकी स्पॉट प्राइसिंग और आपके कॉन्ट्रैक्ट्स जो हैं दे आर गोइंग टू बी डिफर्ड आपकी इवेंचुअली लाइक आपकी जो यूटिलिटीज हैं विच आर वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक मोर अबाउट इट यूटिलिटीज आर गोइंग टू बी इमेंसली इफेक्टेड आपकी वर्किंग कैपिटल आपकी कैश इन फ्लोज रिड्यूस हो जाएंगे आपकी बिकॉज देर इज अ लोड ग्रोथ अनसर्टिनिटी because of that uh, sir since you are an uh, electrical engineer you would be able to tell ke usme aapki grid mein feed in karne pe issues honge and then again like um uh, uh, consumption reduction ki wajah se aap kyunki volumetric tariff le raha which is basically you are charging the customer per megawatt hour that means ke aapki aapki overall uh, jo aapko revenue mil raha hai wo aapki reduce ho rahi hai and that is going to overall impact the entire electricity market um and just to give an example i came uh, came across this um projection load graph of mexico um uh, as mm-hmm. we can see like uh, normally it's go- it was supposed to be like um around 40 uh, agar aap make around dekhen to it was projected ke around 38 gigawatt hona tha but because of the covid there is going to be um, a deficiency of further um, a 7 gigawatt and which will actually re- result in further reduction or iske wajah se load shavings ho rahi hain and uh, we are going to discuss more about how it's going to affect the distributors but this is one of the main thing which is going to happen another very important thing is aapki fuel prices mein reduction or aapki fx prices mein uh for those mm-hmm. who don't know like fx prices whenever you sign up a contract you have um mm-hmm. aapki aapki ek fixed cost hoti hai aapki ek variable cost hoti hai variable is basically aapki onm cost wagaira aapki fuel cost aur aapki fx is aap kis us pe uh, um aap indexing karte hai basically uh, you aap ek particular currency mein karte ho which is more stable but right now what's happening yeah. is that no currency is stable so this is what it is going to do and because of that and obviously jab aap uh, fuel price or fx prices ki baat karte hue we're talking about auctions we're talking about contracts we're talking about power purchase agreements so as you can see from um the graph over here we see that most of the countries are actually going for uh, the the construction will be continuing but there is going to be uh, uh, a lot of disruption and there are uh, like factories are you can see factories open most of them are like are there but they are also again with disruptions they and then some of the most of you can see like most of the auctions are actually getting uh, postponed so this is another major impact of covid because of the uncertainty people do not want to get into auction prices um uh, which again which basically then, uh, people don't want to get into auction prices uh, due yeah. to currency uh, the dangers as well currency risk as well or overall the uncertainty element sir ek to ye ek to uncertainty hai phir uske alawa kyunki auction ka hota hai ki aapki wo variable cost hai so they don't want to commit to a price that they cannot do it aur ek aur issue bhi ho raha hai ki aapke when you uh, when you look at power purchase agreements they have this um, rule ki aapki cud se pehle aapko ek wo cost aapko hoti hai like if you don't get it you actually start uh, you have to pay fees for it so what is happening is right now ke log jinka delay ho rahi hai construction cost uski wajah se it's actually increasing their overall expense aur kyunki wo contracts already signed hain um uski wajah se aapki jo wo deficit hai wo company ki apni cost of capital pe aa raha hai 
jiski wajah se again private uh, uh, jo ipps and they are not willing to invest right now because it's a huge matter mm-hmm. of uncertainty so that is something that we can see is going to happen okay hmm. um okay so this should we go on to um yeah so so coming towards the uh, utilities um uh, now i may apne kuch questions baad mein rakhunga when the graphics are away so uh, covid specific impacts on utilities please yeah. throw some light on that so what is mainly happening like because of all of this the main people who will be impacted are basically the utilities i actually got this graph for of the us of what is happening lekin um overall क्या हो रहा है एज वी टॉक्ड अबाउट के रेवेन्यू आपका लोअर डाउन हो रहा है क्योंकि आपकी इंडस्ट्री और कमर्शियल सेल्स नहीं हो रही हैं बिकॉज ऑफ विच इफ सम पीपल आर सींग दैट इट इज बीन कॉम्पनसेटेड बाई रेजिडेंशियल सेल्स बट एज वी नो लाइक इवन इन केस ऑफ पाकिस्तान अराउंड थर्टी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ आर एनर्जी इज Uh, is being consumed by by commercial and by industrial sector uh, so yeah. you can see like there is a huge chunk which is being absolutely eradicated which means ki aapki revenue collection nahi ho rahi hai aur usse ye ho raha hai kyunki bahut si governments ab ye keh rahi hain ki unhone covid ki wajah se they are actually uh, putting delays like wo 3 months mein aap keh rahe hain ki aap pay kar lo aapki bijli nahi kaat rahe agar aap pay nahi kar sak rahe ho so which means ki aapki overall jo abhi current aapki discos and distribution companies hain aur aapki utilities hain they are not getting a lot of money in hand um jiski wajah se aapki yeah. jo balance payment hai wo aapki negative mein ja rahi hai So, or, so you mean to say that the circular debt issue will even yes. further rise? It will further rise. Like it, it's not just only because of um, uh, collection of money, but overall because आपकी जिनसे आनी भी थी वो उनसे भी नहीं आ रही है. So it's going to rise even mm-hmm. further. And then. Um, All right, and that's the and that's the main issue right now with the circular debt uh, issue, which is prevailing. And you think that's going to be even in Pakistan for distribution companies? Yes, definitely. Because a uh, Pakistan के ये के Pakistan का actually थोड़ा सा ज्यादा इश्यू इस तरह से है कि जैसे ये कंपनीज हैं ये मोस्ट ऑफ देम आर डी लाइक वर्टिकली वो हैं डिस्ट्रिक वो हैं लेकिन ये जो अब आप अगर पाकिस्तान की बात करते हो तो पाकिस्तान इज एक्चुअली नॉट प्राइवेटाइज इट डज नॉट हैव अ होलसेल मार्केट इट डज नॉट हैव अ रिटेल मार्केट सो अभी जो भी इम्पैक्ट होगा वो स्टेट पे हो रहा है क्योंकि हमारे जो डिस्कोज हैं और ये सारी हैं वो स्टेट पे उसका इम्पैक्ट होगा एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दैट अगेन लाइक द स्टेट विल हैव टू सफर फ्रॉम दिस काइंड ऑफ रेवेन्यू रिडक्शन सो हैड इट बीन एन ओपन मार्केट लाइक इट इज इन यूके वेयर डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन कंपनीज आर वेरी ओपन एंड यू कुड बाय फ्रॉम एनी वन मोनोपली नहीं है गवर्नमेंट ओन कंपनीज नहीं है सो द बर्डन ऑन गवर्नमेंट कुड हैव बीन लेस could it could have been less also like agar aap retail market ki baat karte ho to um uh, aapke basically hota hai you it is compulsory like um, dispatch mein ke aapko take or pay hota hai lekin agar aapki retail market ho um, wholesale market ho you can actually sell and you can buy it off as well like apni commodity aapki koi aur le lega so right now what is happening is ke since we don't have that market we don't see how exactly like j- j- government ne jin se uh, dispatch uh, agreements ki hui thi unko ab unse le, le bhi nahi rahe hain aur unko pay bhi karna hai so that is going mm-hmm. to be like a major issue with developing countries yeah because now that's uh, that's now again sometimes you have to understand that kuch aise decisions the government le jaise privatization as much as possible even in the distribution setup could be so helpful for pakistani market so i remember when i lived in scotland so mm-hmm. i had a flat jisme uh, mera meter jo tha usme ek usb lagti thi jisme main bijli purchase karta tha i used to go into the shop and ask them okay ji i want to buy electricity worth 20 pounds so which one is cheaper to wo mujhe kehte the ki ji scottish power ka ye rate hai iska ye rate hai which one do you want to buy yeah. so now that had that been the case in the situation could have been a lot less on uh, yeah. government of pakistan exactly even like in the us we have isos आपकी मर्जी यू कैन एक्चुअली कनेक्ट विद टू एनी ऑफ द सप्लायर्स और लाइक उस उससे ये भी फायदा होता है कि एक तो आपकी डाइवर्सिटी आती है आपके एनर्जी मिक्स में देर आर लॉट ऑफ पीपल हु प्रेफर टू एक्चुअली बाय ग्रीन एनर्जी सो बिकॉज ऑफ दैट लाइक यू आर एक्चुअली प्रोमोटिंग रिन्यूएबल्स एज वेल सो अगेन लाइक सिंस वी एक्चुअली हैव इट सर आपको बेहतर पता होगा वैसे लेकिन आई थिंक वी हैव इट इन एनर्जी एक्ट ऑफ पाकिस्तान टू में या इस तरह से ट्वेंटी में हुआ था 
Okay, um, yeah, yeah, I think uh, it was 2012. Uh, it is already there, but yeah, how much is the implementation? That's what matters. Yeah. Uh, Rita, I've been bombarded with questions, so that's okay. why we will move on and I'll ask questions to you in the end. Yeah, sure. Well. I know the answers. <laughs> sure. Okay. So, should we go further? Yeah, we can go further. Uh, sir, ek aur cheez bhi so, maine, but uh, utilities ka ek aur issue bhi hona hai ke, um, um, kuch jaise countries mein jisme bahut strong regulations hai, unme ye ho raha hai ke O&M expenses zada honge because uh, because they'll have to make sure ke jo aapki SLAs aapne sign kiye hai service level agreements, uspe aap social distancing ke liye aap proper P, aap proper equipment though that is going to be additional O&M cost and of course like as we discussed project delays so that's something yeah. that we need to look at yeah. that, is, that is expected projects will be delayed yeah. so uh, peak demand patterns Kinder, you said uh, may not align with the long term commodity contracts you think that's going to be the case commodity contracts the long term agreements say demands uh, uske accordingly nahi hongi, no? that's yes. going to be a really big problem for utilities exactly that's going to be a big problem because unki wo deficiency hogi like revenues mil nahi rahe honge but they'll still have to pay to uh, just may like i'll come on further like usme wo default payment risk uh, payment risk hota hai aur wo phir aapka trigger hota hai aur usko aap mitigate karne ke liye international market kya kar rahi hai we'll talk about it right uh, okay let's move on yeah, sure okay so basically these are like um we tried dividing our solutions in four um, different aspects. Um, so one is contractual, the other is financial, fi physical, and macroeconomic fiscal. What ha what is happening yeah. with contractual, which is which I personally believe is a more feasible solution, is that you start arbitration start instead of doing like a lot of countries, like developing countries, they're going for force merger, like they're going for their termination rights. Uh, but it, even if it's tempting, it might disturb the overall energy market. So instead of that, like uh, another possible solution could be to increase the terms of agreement. For instance, South Africa, um, may jitni be renewable energy market, hai, they have actually started increasing their PPA prices. So which uh, like their PPA tenor. So agar aapka year zada hai, it means ki aapki wo abhi agar defer ho bhi rahi hai payment, you can go on for later years. And so, then, so do you think uh, do you think that is very realistic approach because already uh, long term agreements with sovereign guarantees etc has already been done so isn't it a very tough ask? It's it is actually but it it will still be way better than you know terminating the entire contract and then uh, because if for instance if it's a matter of one year or maybe six months after that like there's going to be another like piece of contract delay legal requirements only and then deployment of the equipment so that is actually more it's going to be in long term it's going to be more difficult so Reza, i have a very important question which i'm going to write down uh, which is related to us and you and everyone is future of renewables i'll come back to it later okay first, first i want to get done this is very very interesting and mm -hmm. for everyone who's watching i think this is a crux uh, of the solutions please mm -hmm. proceed um, uh, another thing is that in our contracts, mein hota hai, um, uh, a lot of the countries who are foreign exchange indexing kar leti hum apni PPA prices. So, uh, yeah. what we can do is like we can actually, since it's a time of uh, like uh, it's a time of pandemic we can actually go back to our contracts and we can revise our uh, foreign exchange adjustments Aap apni indexing clauses ko adjust kar sakte ho for now so that's something again like this this is all contractual it's going to be on basis of negotiation it's not going to happen that it's it's not going to be party uh, compromise since it's public private partnership there has to be compromise from both ends and then again um uh, another pro possibility is that regulators and what containment rights go like usko dubara, they have they'll have to look into it okay for instance mm -hmm. um um uh, agar, for instance i agar aap, aap ki ipp usne, aap ki energy mix mein, agar, there is a certain percentage of um um renewable energy that needs to be there so you probably aap ki government ko curtail karni paregi. so that is also mm -hmm. that we need to look into and um uh, and but then, a related question with the percentage of renewables 
it's very less right now so do you think it's still something which has to be curtailed so uh, actually like in a lot of cases like if you're talking about globally like um uh, aapke renewable energy portfolios hote hain and a lot of div- uh, developed countries they actually have like 20 25% to unko agar aap curtail like for, agar aap for for a particular amount like aap curtail maybe renewables ko na karo you can look into uh, oil or other thermal aapki jo uh, because thermal ka issue ye hota hai ki it's more uh, variable pricing so which is dependent on the oil pricing so if we can like yeah but, but right now with oil pricing being very less yes, so it, yeah it's going to be all together very different yes market. it's going to be very difficult so and there is a possibility jo ek hoteling curve hota hai ki jisme hota hai ki aap renewables eventually aap consume karne lagte ho aur aapki oil aur aapki jo fuel consumption hai wo zyada hone lagti hai so it, it actually because of the reduction in oil prices there is a high possibility ki aapki renewables jo hai consume hona reduce ho for now uh, jiske liye we yeah, are but on the other side on the other side people talking about mother nature healing and etc yeah. but these are all sentiments and markets are not run by sentiments am i right exactly yeah but but the thing is like for renewables if we see k um it's actually if you look at it in hindsight uh, it will actually help in promoting renewables as well in some way ke uski wajah se there is a possibility ke prices or reduce so aapki ppa prices jo ke itni zyada thi which have reduced drastically like abhi recently abu dhabi ki uh, koi 1 cent pe, per kilowatt megawatt or something we are so uh, like it can definitely reduce um, but again Uh, it's uh, f- for time being it's going to be like a hoteling curve in which like aapki there's a high possibility ki aap oil zyada use karna shuru kar do as a commodity because it's getting cheaper yeah right yeah. okay and then we are okay. going towards um towards financial side so financial mein ek aapko off taker hai aur ek aapki generator hai ऑफ टेकर के लिए एक है आप उनको लाइक वन थिंग विच इज एक्चुअली बीन प्रैक्टिस इन ब्राजील इज दे आर डूइंग अ पूल ऑफ इन्वेस्टर्स एंड वर देर डूइंग इज कि आपकी इन्वेस्टमेंट आप एक नई टर्म्स लाओ जिसमें एक कैश और रिजर्व अकाउंट्स हों जिससे आप मनी आप बेसिकली ले सको ऑन लोअर टर्म्स ऑन लोअर डेथ टर्म्स so that is something which is happening it's basically going to encourage a lot of um, uh, investors to pull in and what that is what is anil doing aur usse aap phir aap jo jo aapke deficit hai current aapki balance sheet mein usko aap get up karo through that so and uh, yeah yeah uh, and uh, since we moving on how about the micro financial microeconomics and fiscal yeah sure so um macro economic and fiscal is going to be uh, it's from it's going to be mainly from the regulator side ke aap uh, jo government hai again i don't think this will apply to pakistan because it's a state uh, owned utility lekin a lot of international markets are doing is that they are providing um, cash from infl- cash inflows to the generators from themselves and they're mm-hmm. trying ke uski wajah se unke jo cash imbalance hai usko get up kar sake um also like physical market may physically be aajkal a couple of countries what they're doing in uh, ipps jo kar rahi hai what they're doing is ke they're selling off their um equipment and they're selling off in retail markets aapki wholesale market mein wo aapki commodity ko sell off kar rahe hain or and actually like again in case of brazil they're focusing a lot on hydro right now because this way they can store the electricity for later usage so hydro 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 consumption might actually increase so that is something that we are seeing will happen interesting very interesting very interesting um yeah so uh moving on rida yes sir so should i so uh, yeah. since we've been talking about so many um negative like so many problems i'm sure we should have come up with some problems as well some solutions as well so these are a couple of risk mitigation instruments that currently there it's happening in international markets we have reserve accounts we have cost recovery tackers we have mutual aided uh, agreements we have securitization and we have insurance so basically so, uh, so, uh, i i can understand the other points i am sure other uh, participants are cost recovery trackers Tell yes. me a bit about that. 
सो बेसिकली वट हैपन्स इस कॉस्ट रिकवरी ट्रैकर में कि आपकी जो यूटिलिटी है वो आपको अभी जितनी आपकी दे गो फॉर अ गोल लाइक उन्होंने रेवेन्यू एक उनका गोल था दैट दे हैड टू अचीव एंड वट दे डू इज दैट ओवर इवेंचुअली दे यूज दैट गोल टू पुट इन टू योर प्राइसिंग इन टू योर ओन एम कॉस्ट एंड देन अनादर थिंग विच इज इंटरेस्टिंग इज के वो फिर इस तरह से हो रहा है जैसे अराउंड ट्वेंटी फोर स्टेट इन द यू एस हैव एक्चुअली स्टार्टिंग डूइंग दैट दे स्टार्ट डी कपलिंग सो वट देर डूइंग इज के और इंस्टेड ऑफ डूइंग इट पर एनर्जी वट दे वॉन्ट टू सी इज लाइक इट्स गोइंग टू बी पर मेगा वॉट लाइक इट्स गोइंग टू बी अ ब्लॉक टैरिफ सो दिस वे दे आर डूइंग देर कॉस्ट रिकवरी के eventually aap usko like short term mein to aap kar lo like reduce kar lo but then they go on and they put it in the onm which is again like right, if you right. look at from the public perspective it's going to be very hard it's going to get more expensive eventually but this is what a lot of utilities in the us and in other developed markets are doing and that is actually yeah. been practiced okay uh, for, for all the people who are watching us right now since uh, these are very very important knowledgeable people uh, especially for the dis global market also uh, we'll continue on after even 10 uh, because uh, there is some very interesting discussions uh, for those uh, who want to ask reda any questions drop in in the comment section we already have a lot of questions reda once we are done with your presentation then we will come towards some specific questions that people have asked yeah Okay. Um, should we continue or should we go? Yeah, to yeah. The... You can continue on and proceed to the closure of the okay. presentation. Then we will come towards the specific questions. So yeah. So another interesting like securitization insurance. These are all like securitization. It's yeah. Bonds are kept or utility bond kept. If there is any issue, then that bond is consumed. Insurance is again, okay, um, again, which is not going to happen in developing markets. It's happening in developed countries. The utilities actually have. their insurance and they use uh, insurance in case of like hurricanes aate hain florida mein to fpl has been using that um another important thing is reserve accounts but uh, reserve accounts uh, this is this some this is something i would like to focus on for developing countries um uh, reserve accounts abhi humne recently um kiya hai uh, sindh mein ssp mein solar park ke liye reserve accounts is basically ki aap um, there is certain amount jo ki aap एक थर्ड पार्टी के रखते हो फॉर सिक्स मंथ्स आपकी पेमेंट्स होती हैं तो इन केस ऑफ एनी डिफॉल्ट इन पेमेंट रिस्क इन पेमेंट्स दिस इज वेयर द रिजर्व अकाउंट इज ट्रिगर्ड एंड दैट्स वेयर इट कॉम्पनसेट्स फॉर योर कॉस्ट लॉसेस अदर देन दैट जो मैं डेवलपिंग कंट्रीज के लिए व्हाट वी कैन लुक एट इज इज कॉस्ट रिकवरी ट्रैक विच वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस म्यूचुअल एडेड अग्रीमेंट इज के a lot of the countries uh, who have uh, utilities they they have this mutual agreement ke agar koi is tarah ki um, shortage hoti hai ya um, if want to sell off their um, asset to wo aap mutual aided agreement ke through you can sell it off from one utility to another in case taki aapki market mein liquidity increase ho sahi so, sahi uh, uh, yeah so uh, this, no, is, this is something right now uh, i would like um, presentation ko पॉइंट पे कंक्लूड करें व्हाट टू एक्सपेक्ट शॉर्ट टर्म क्या होगा लॉन्ग टर्म क्या होगा रहता है सो सर अगेन एज वी डिस्कस शॉर्ट टर्म में इसके देयर इज गोइंग टू बी अम देन यूटिलिटीज नीड्स सफिशिएंट कैश एंड फॉर दैट दे विल बी नीडिंग न्यू डेट व्हिच अगेन मींस के जैसे ब्राजील इज डूइंग आप मिलकर पूल बनाओ ऑफ डेट्स एंड यू start doing that it's called pro- project financing and you can do that um another issue uh, things that the utility is plan on doing is k they are se- selling their plant assets assets what which has actually been done somewhere in minnesota um another thing is that which i which applies to a lot of regulators um is that they can actually uh, give access to the capital to these markets so that they can actually like use that capital for now to recover from the expenses of the pandemic uh what is going to happen long term is is again cost recovery tracker which we were discussing it's going to be um ke aapki jo top tier of aapki jo consumer hai it might have be most affected and there might be uh, an added tariff to those particular consumers and again um an, uh, another thing will be onm cost which is basically ke aapki aap overall onm costs aapke contracts mein zyada 
pricing ho jayegi to in order to cater for the expenses that you weren't able to do cater for initially so this is what is going to what we can expect in long term by the utilities yeah um this is right yeah. right so that uh, that's wonderful uh, rida um, for for the great insights that uh, you have given to us i think um, rida has already explained uh, a lot of important concepts how energy markets are going to be like and uh, things are going to be there is a lot of people in here uh, from the technical side we come towards question and answer so drop in your messages uh, for those who want to ask and want to know about it there are different comments which have been made as well uh, right now so i have a question rida and uh, maybe perhaps you can give an input asad mm-hmm. kamal is this question please tell about which business sectors in pakistan are least affected by covid and can mm-hmm. create opportunities for business uh, i know it's a very specific question yeah. but still a very uh, and any generic answer what do you think overall i think international markets uh, could relate into the same story. yeah definitely um so which business sectors i would say banking is something that's not going to be affected at all but i in fact i think ke, in a lot of cases banking mein unki debts leverage zyada badh rahi hai they're getting more interest rates and stuff so it is actually going to be a stronger market for the banks banking sector um and uh, and can create opportunities for business um for business i would say like um um again like uh, it's it's a very time it's a great time of uncertainty like and um eventually like i know like aapki aapki health market hai usme aapki products jo ki nahi thi pehle because a lot of uh, countries like even pakistan they they dependent ke agar kuch hoga bura to then they're going to start producing so we can yeah, see that's, that's something which is yeah so we will see like a, a huge increase in medical um, equipment and stuff like that so right now similarly rashid khalid gave a comment as well trade of commodities and new business corridors are something which is world is looking at new <laughs> business corridors now that's yeah. that's a very related uh, one as well yeah. rida i want to give you a bit of surprise as well okay. we already have been uh, discussing uh, hardcore topics chale ye to ek market hai thoda sa wapas us topic ki taraf aate hain rida ka safar I have a, a bit of surprise. I picked a few pictures from your uh, f- about you, and uh, John Kerry had actually shared few pictures. So tell me a bit about this. That's a surprise I wanted to give you. Okay. Um, I want to know about the real uh, Rida making wonders in the world. Tell me where was this when this guy uh, happened to take a picture with such a. So basically, John Kerry is one of the alumni of Yale, um, and he there is this thing called John Kerry Initiative. So um, John Kerry, के साथ हमारी एक I was working with him with his under his initiative on carbon charge project, which was basically carbon pricing uh, of Yale building. So overall, we were uh, working on carbon pricing, and he was there, and um, I went, and I was like, I'm oh, from. So, so I can safely say, Rida shared uh, the same institution as John Kerry did, and Hillary Clinton, <laughs> and couple. And others. Hillary Clinton as well. Uh, they they, they must be very proud. Both of both <laughs> of them must be very proud. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, tell me a bit about this picture. It's an inspiration for everybody who's watching. So, um, actually, for the first time in history, UN ne ab youth ko general assembly mein for climate change bulaya tha. So th- these are yeah. basically people from all, literally all over the world. These are this is youth from uh, who were selected by the UN to come and be present in the general assembly and dis- do climate change advocacy. So. these are a couple of very smart people that i happened to meet during that time wonderful wonderful and to be a part of this uh, great lobby a uh, great team uh, was wonderful hey you are in the ghana or uh, ghana road was it like some big project ji so basically i was actually um Uh, given us uh, so it was one of my qu- capstone projects i was given funding to work on ghana's renewable energy road map so th- this is actually he's minister of renewable energy in ghana his name is mr wisdom i don't i can't pron- pronounce the other part so he was uh, i was there yeah. to meet with people at the of the ministries over there yeah yeah that's wonderful as well and i'm pretty sure this is mm-hmm. in front of yale uh, yeah. for everybody who's watching for all the girls out there who are watching 
and I precisely asked my nieces to uh, come and join in. That's how the dreams are achieved. Standing in front of Yale University School of Forestry and Environmental Studies, a girl who comes from Lahore studies, gets Fulbright, goes to Yale, and graduates from there. What a proud moment was this for you, Brida? Thank you, sir. Actually, uh, you chose a very interesting picture because it has all the Fulbright scholars from all over the world. So one is from India, the other is from Madagascar, the other is from New Zealand, and the other one is from Barbados. So it's um, it's actually it was a very proud moment. Like it was. And all of them, all of them took environmental studies as the subject of specialization. Uh, so basically what happens in our school is that different specializations, even if you're doing one of them is MESC, environmental science, I was MEM, the other one is doing environmental law, and the fourth one is doing business and environment. So it, it's basically a lot of, we have a lot of courses and different specializations. So, uh, Brida, uh, so I already on that, Halima Sadia just, uh, just gave a comment. Wow, it's Yale. Thank you. Thank you so much. Right. Uh, okay. So moving on. Uh, hey, here you are with the Pakistani Amin Aslam as well. What was the one advice you gave him? No, I didn't give him. He's very smart. He's actually he's studied. He's done the same degree we went. I, I met him in COP25, which was last year Poland. Mein. So he was there. He was representing Pakistan. And um, he's actually studied from Oxford. He does. He did the same degree as mine, environmental management. So I actually learned a lot from him. So it was an in interesting meetup. Yeah, and uh, mm -hmm. here you are at uh, this was. So this is this is actually in 2017. It's born. Um, mm -hmm. I was given badge from Yale to go to climate change conference, UN climate change conference. So it's COP 24 or something. COP23, I think. Wonderful. Now, that's that's really wonderful and really inspirational. <laughs> Rida, uh, I, I got, uh, the, you're, you're, you're able to manage. There have been so many comments from your family also. I have <laughs> Menaz as Rizvi saying, it's nice, Rida. People are talking about it. Tell me a bit of that. Uh, being a full brighter, you must be the icon of the family. People look towards you. People ask you for advice. Yeah? Sir, um, it's, yeah, definitely, but I wouldn't say icon, like everybody's super amazing in my family as well. Everybody's super smart and um, I'm happy to like help my cousins and my sisters in any way possible. So, yeah, yes. That, that's, that's all. So I guys, we will continue like, on uh, for the next 15 minutes. Uh, we will ask questions to Reza, so drop in your questions and ask uh, whatever you think right now is going to be uh, the, the, the next thing. All right, and now, uh, we have talked about uh, impact of electricity in uh, different scenarios right now. Um, energy, and let's focus upon renewables as well. This renewables ki market is You have been studying the Pakistani market very closely. Uh, how, how it's going to be the renewables next? Uh, what are the opportunities that which, which will come along? Definitely. So, uh, what I can see right now, like uh, just as a wind, onshore wind, just as a solar, these are the auctions that were happening, which we had expected in a couple of these months. They have definitely like reduced. Uh, uh, and they have I don't know whether, whether that's a correct comment or not, but somebody was telling me that the funding which was going from World Bank for SEN might be utilized for emergency purposes and other scenarios. Priorities have changed. Is it? Like, uh, like I'm not, I'm not exactly sure. The current our project, which Pakistan, we are giving for energy, they're still there because they are already country partnership, and it's always like it's already there. So, I think it's not yeah. going to be the case. Hopefully. So, Rida, I have a questions coming in. Aman is asking. You previously said that the thing about being uncertain. So, what is the advice to the students who are currently confused about using your career path? Now, uh, mm -hmm. as I said, came a of technical. Say, uh, Rida, ki success story. Pick a close. Karenge questions to uncertainties in career uh, choosing path. Did you ever thought that you're going to be environmental engineer from first? Or sometimes you leave it upon God as well. Uh, so sir, what was your recipe? Sir, honestly, I don't think, uh, like, I, but I know it's a very technical and session and informal. Like, and I, I would say, like, you cannot achieve anything without a will of Allah 
और एक चीज जो मैं सबको कहती हूँ अपनी बहनों को भी और सबको कहती हूँ सूर्य फतेह मैंने बहुत रेगुलरली पढ़ी है सूर्य फतेह इज लाइक इन सिक्स ट्वेंटी सिक्स बारह सो दैट समथिंग लाइक हैविंग क्या आपकी इंटेंशन सही हो यू द इंटेंशन इज के सर्विंग पीपल ऑफ अल्लाह एंड इट एक्चुअली इट ओपन वेज इन in so many like uh, like th- there are paths which are open like you never even thought of so having the vakul reading surah fatah is very important and as for being confused that um aman is talking about i think um you are everybody is confused even for me right now i see like ke acha main ab ye karu ya na karu kyunki the more you go in depth the more you realize okay you need to learn more about it so what is important is like networking is very important talking to people who you see you aspire to become and for me like one of them was also sardanyal so like talking to them and understanding what is happening in the market and what skill set you basically need like asking objective questions to people ke aap objectively puchhe ki main ye karna chahti hu what skill sets are people looking for and that is where your journey begins you your aim begins like this is a path where i want to take and um that's Reza. how Now that's 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 a very related question. Sir, if Pakistan's kids, boys, boys, you can tell me. Sometimes some lack of opportunities. We both say that in Pakistan, there are no opportunities. Or someone has come and told you in your head that you can apply for a full bright pay. Or someone has come and told you in your head that you can apply for a full bright pay. Or someone has come and told you in your head मुझे लोगों ने कहा था इन्वायरमेंटल इंजीनियर तुम्हें जॉब नहीं मिलेगी एंड आई डिड इट लाइक इट्स जस्ट कि आपको इफ यू हैव इफ यू हैव द एबिलिटी यू कैन एक्चुअली टॉक लाइक इट्स जस्ट कि यू हैव टू क्रिएट ऑप्शंस बहुत सी चीज तवक्कु भी होती है कि आप अल्लाह पे छोड़ दो बहुत सी चीजें बट यू हैव टू keep uh, you have to make sure that no stone is unturned so for me it was like a lot of like scholarship network a lot of other people um jinse main contact mein rahi i literally applied every single place i could think of i had my entire week schedule ki maine kis kis jagah pe kab kab apply karna hai kin kin logo se puchna hai getting my sops and everything checked so it's just like you have to constantly try and you have to like constantly you know like there is no such thing ke opportunity nahi hai pakistan mein bhi opportunity hai agar nahi hai to you create one you talk to people you make make, make them see what you have like you like, and you can show them that you actually can become an asset, asset to their company which actually happened with um um sardanya actually so that is something like uh, you just have to make sure that you like but there are a lot of companies they might not even have they might not be hiring but they see that passion in you and they open up that opportunity okay theek hai like let's give her this opportunity we might not want to lose her so it's all about contacting people networking reaching out to, uh, at the right time um to get like a proper um hold of opportunities and creating some right reda full bright journey uh full bright pe aapne apply kiya i want in a very small uh, very specific answer if you can narrate the journey how long is the process uh, young girls and boys take you as an inspiration uh, you know working on uh, on this uh, from full bright to working on world bank and being such now today uh, uh, some of the facts which you have shared actually have really been at the highest class and the highest level explain me uh, explain these guys how is a full bright process I know things might change because of this COVID-19, yeah. but overall, what are the things that people or the Fulbright team looks at, and how uh, many other Ridas who are out there yeah. uh, looking at their dreams could uh, could listen to you and get inspiration? I want you to be very precise, specific about. Definitely. Uh, so for Fulbright, one most important thing, look at it. GP is good, not GRE is good, not. Get done with your GRE, 300 plus, I that's fine. GP is also normal. If you have three to get, that's fine. You it, it doesn't matter. What really Fulbright is looking for is like people who can actually make an impact in Pakistan, who want to like f- like for instance. for me i had done so much like before applying for fulbright i had done a lot of market study of energy of pakistan aur phir maine uska analysis kiya tha comparative analysis kiya tha with what is being offered in the us so that is one thing which is super important that in your statement of purpose you show that you're not going just for the sake of getting fulbright or just for the go- sake of going abroad um it's more like you want to learn and you actually want to bring something back to your country um and you know contribute in some way possible 
similarly uh, for for the full bride as well how difficult it is from pakistan and making up uh, at at Yale, universities like yale please tell us about that uh, is it is it easy difficult to make it to the best universities so fulbright ki ob- objective ye hota hai they want to send as many people as possible so uh, if universities like yale harvard or like these ivy leagues um especially like um even in colombia there were like there were a lot of people like in colombia was giving funding to them so yale basically cost cutting karne ke liye prefer karta hai ki wo state universities mein bheje bachon ko so uh, in my case i really I had to convince them. Like I literally made a sh- spreadsheet and made jahan jahan baaki teen jagaon pe unhone choose ki viti country or uh, universities. Usse maine analysis kiya tha. Maine kaha tha ke this is what my study objective is and this is Yale is the literally the only place um, that can actually provide me with that opportunity. So uh, th- I literally convinced them ke mujhe pe itne paise laga le aap dear do lakh dollar. So it was you have to convince wonderful, them. Wonderful, wonderful. Rida, uh, many people talk about. Uh, अभी तो आपने बताया कि जब आप yeah. graduate हुई, जब आप जा रही थी, तो environmental engineering job नहीं मिलेगी, काम नहीं होगा, yeah. you won't be able to make. Yeah. आप uh, पाकिस्तान में problem ये होता है कि यह negative picture देखने वाले लोग थोड़े से ज़्यादा हैं, positive yeah. होती भी है तो कम देखते हैं. तो environmental engineering का career option, please clear the myths around yes. how how. It's how, I think it's amazing. Like NAST offers a, a great a bachelor's degree, and uh, thing is. environment it's happening like climate crisis the climate change crisis is happening nothing like business har cheez ye sab kuch uh, khatam ho jayega but what's happening is climate change and it's and it uh, to be honest like now it's even effect- affecting countries like pakistan aapki uh, aqi dekhen kitna high hai and all of these things so environmental engineering is i personally think it's actually it was a very important decision that i made because it's it's a niche market you get so much more scope to study but up to in fact it's not even niche anymore now jab maine ki thi tab it was me but even now you still have a lot of scope of learning or making contributions research and um capstones so environment is something that definitely we should be looking into rather generally i don't ask this question but yes. i have to uh, in context to pakistani uh, pakistani context um i can understand when you are when out there so it's a different world altogether but uh, does like what was the obstacles at being a female that you had to face in pakistan which uh, i think uh, became later on became your strength and power so throw some light on that sir bahut hairani ki baat hai lekin mujhe aise sach nahi hua like it's very surprising ki mujhe lekin itna koi like it was just because i was a girl nothing happened because probably because um the uh, the male figure in my family my father he never literally discriminated he doesn't care if i he, if he didn't care if i was a girl or if i was a boy he knew i wanted to achieve something and he was like there for me um but I think like uh, I know like I've met a lot of girls jin ka hota hai ke they get a lot of pressure from the family ke there is a certain age in which you want to you should be getting married you, there is a certain age you should be learning how to cook and doing stuff like that and not uh, uh, putting a lot of emphasis on your mental growth on your on actually contributing to the society because we are talking about 50% of the population of the world and just the th- thought yeah. that 50% of the population is expected not to pursue their dreams and not to actually make an impact in the world uh, is something which is happening in our society and like uh, which literally which has to be changed like this mindset has to be changed it doesn't it has to be it can be done in all islamic laws it can be done in all like in a decent manner you can still achieve uh, your education you can do everything but it's just that people have to put the people around you need to put trust on you um and i would say like my right. entire family was amazing like baba my dada dadi everybody like everyone my popo is charging right family. right now rida generally <laughs> talking about your career uh, such such glad, glad to see that the family have been such a big support to you and uh, working please tell me about this amazing picture Uh, who you. are the people who are behind in making you what you are right now? Thank you. So, so this is these are my parents, my father and my mother, and my two younger sisters who are way smarter than me. Um, 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 so they are the. <laughs> How much? I, uh, so so so, I I, I honestly, um, when your father would be looking at um, your journey, they must be very proud of it. 
please tell me how much of proud are you are that even when, when you realize that we have made your parents proud i think there is no better feeling in the world than this what do you think yes sir um, i actually don't don't like thinking about it because it just if i think about it it just makes me think ki maine ab bas achieve kar liya ab aage nahi karna so i just think like it's just one of the many milestones that have been achieved but i think um, it's happy like i feel like really happy like when i see maa baba there like they get all emotional and they start crying and stuff when they look at me and so but yeah but obviously like i, I wouldn't have done it without them Um, that's yeah. that's uh, that's wonderful as well. Now, Rida, we're coming towards the conclusion um, of the session as well. Uh, there are many youths and youngsters who are listening to you right now. Uh, what is what is that one message that you would like to give uh, to the youngsters out there who want to make a career, uh, want to make a name for themselves? Yeah. Uh, what is that one thing that they should never forget? And yes, success is going to be there for them. Sir, one thing is like. um being determined like and having a target and target should not be economic in my like uh, if you're passionate about something you don't think about money you don't care what is happening when uh, when people are passionate about something they're looking at greater good they're talking about serving the society they're talking about serving um message of god they're looking at something which is way beyond their own personality so what is really important in our youth is to have that passion in them to make an impact in the world and it shouldn't be ke maine bahut famous hona hai mujhe paise chahiye it has to be something which may way more bigger than that to get that drive so that's something i would say like you should have some passion in life it actually it's very good for your right. mental, mental health as well right reda um a lot of people ask this having um, i the best part about you is that you don't want to think about the things in which which tell you that you are successful already or you want to make uh, uh, reda i want to ask you a very specific question what is the definition of success for you one and where do you see reda in the next 5 years apart from being married and settled or i don't know whatever your plans are <laughs> but what is what is where, where, where in the career reda is looking at what is the definition of success for you sir for me success is um like um uh, it's a, it's a bit uh, religious like but i think it for me success is having making the world a better place so that um mehdi imam mehdi when he comes he can actually contribute and uh, being able to do something which can help um, one of the messengers of uh, like allah to you know like what he envisioned so for me like since my ability is probably to be able to think about environment or climate change crisis that's what i think like help, helping people out helping society and doing like using my brain in some way possible to actually make this world a better place um so yeah that's what i wonderful the next 5 years 10 years where are you right now uh, so, it's a very difficult question it's a very difficult question but um inshallah in next 5 years um i think uh, i would like to come back to pakistan and actually like hopefully if there are enough opportunities for me and actually start off with some like like again like ab kyunki main ab kitna globalized like main developing countries mein kar rahi hu africa mein there or south sar mein so now eventually once i've learned to lord i would like to come back and actually you know serve uh, uh, pakistan inshallah right uh, that's that's what was my last question i remember mm-hmm. my time uh there were opportunities i spent good bit of time and then came back and uh, started impacting lives there was never a better feeling that uh, to impact lives uh, than this so yeah that's what my my last question was as well mm-hmm. how do you plan uh, to contribute back uh, to the to the country which has made you what you are right now yes um i personally think i'm still working on pakistan so i am doing a bit of my contribution right now as well like can eventually um like i don't know how the situation is like can eventually i would like to work in one of the ministries and um actually do work on something uh for um for pakistan uh mainly like in climate change and i see like pakistan ki aap uh, market ko liberalize kar do uski we are integration kar do pakistan ki koi target hai 30% something like that so basically 
this uh, uh, during that journey i would like to be physically in pakistan and actually make an impact so um, that's what i see myself doing yeah that's wonderful and to conclude uh, with our today's session uh, i would like to know um, for the people who have been here uh, listening to you who have been there through the whole journey and uh, you have come across uh, what is the one lesson that you have learned from life that you would like to pass on to the others and you believe that's the key uh, for, for 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 you right now so what is that one lesson which life has given you which you would like to share um sir i think for me one life lesson is never giving up like not giving up having like koi zindagi mein ek zarur passion your target hona chahiye which actually makes you like gives you the ability ki aap daily apne bed se uth kar koi kaam kar sako like ek kuch kuch aise ek bigger goal hona chahiye life mein so that is something that i think i would like to have because when you have that you don't care about people you don't care about what uh, anybody thinks you are there you're doing your job and you don't even like it's all for a greater good so definitely there should be yeah. something like that in mind and so right. you know, um, i think no. you also had that like i'm sure you ha- you've had that passion that's why you came like you came back from scotland and you're here in pakistan so that's also something i've learned from you yeah i think that's 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 the essence about people uh, uh, um, a lot of people ask me the same question as well and i i say that uh, whenever you go abroad for studies i have traveled the whole world virtually and uh, i i find no better place than uh, yes. pakistan to live and settle and especially to, to contribute back uh, to where you are, your roots were uh but then make keep on making an impact if the world gives an opportunity on on the global scenario as well now rida uh, you have been a great ambassador of pakistan uh you have been a great ambassador for full bright and i am pretty sure this video will get viral in the full bright community as well uh, mm-hmm. the success that you have brought in um and uh, especially one message uh, do you last word uh, do you recall your full bright cohort friends um, do you think all of them because that's a related question all of them were high achievers right so uh, are they making an impact uh, what's the full bright uh, cohort that you remember or miss so i really miss them right now they were literally my family in the us so um, actually all of them are doing great stuff like um, some have become entrepreneurs they're working in big organizations uh, some have actually started off with their phd's but uh, one thing that I, that i found common in all of them was like having some form of passion like goal in life and that is one thing that has driven them to you know become so successful so yeah i really yeah, that's wonderful rida uh, thank you very much it was an absolute pleasure having you on the ds global uh, live uh, telecast that we had and discussions i'm pretty sure this was just a small thing because we were interviewing you about your personal experiences in life and as well as getting to know about uh, your global experiences about energy markets we'll definitely have some more sessions because i believe after the great team bharat there is so much more to come there's so much more to learn from you as well like you are the energy guru of pakistan people don't know that i think next time around we will do some we will do some yeah. sessions opposite way also yeah exactly but uh, thank you very much i just want to tell you that uh, your parents um, are one of are, are definitely one of the proud parents of pakistan and to have a daughter like this i god has blessed me with another son but if if there are daughters which are like you uh, it is as much it is nothing better than becoming parents as well and i'm pretty sure that your father father your parents your mother will be proud of you and keep on uh, keep on this journey and uh, we just want to let you know that whole pakistan listening right now is proud of you thank you so much sir thank you thank you for having thank you me. and we'll continue on in the future <laughs> sessions as well thank, thank you. you very much rida it was an absolute thank pleasure you. having you likewise Allah.